Hey, hey, I wanted to share with you the rock picker. This thing's working fantastic. And what I like so much about it is it's actually faster than a normal stone picker that you would pull behind. Um, because Maybe because of the Unimog or maybe just the speed of the vehicle that you use, be it tractor with a front end loader or something of that nature, this thing flies. I, I'm getting up to 18 miles an hour picking up rocks, which is insane. I'm about to hit 100%. Almost got this field. About to hit 100%. I don't know if I'm going to make it across this field and get it all. I'm slowing down just to see how it goes. Oh, 100%. Probably can't get any more of that. Nope, see, it's not picking up rocks anymore. Oh, i got to figure out how to empty this thing now. <laughs> all right, I'll get back with you shortly. Oh, man, these rocks in the front are heavy. Hey, there we go. All right. That wasn't hard at all. <laughs> I'm going to go finish up the field real quick. All right, they're both gone. Let's get the lineman done. Ooh, this thing spreads good. That's going to run out fast, too. My goodness, look at the spread of this thing. I should have come at that the other direction. Just hit it. Let it scatter. What I should have done. Like this. This is what I should have done. She came just like this. Right when I get to the edge. Turn it on. And turn it off. Ha ha ha. Looks good. This edge. Turn it on. Turn it off. Beautiful. Liming is done. All right. And still got plenty left in the hopper. I like it. Going to bust out a new field here. Here we go. All right. I'm not sure exactly the size and shape that I want right now. But I'm going to bust it out here and I'll be back with you guys once it's done. See you when the new field's done. I'm just going to be wasting this, so I'm going to park right here, and we're going to mow this up and pick it up real quick. I'm not going to let this grass go to waste. Hey, good morning, team. Well, instead of going out and renting, we have a mower. I decided to use it. And man, is this thing slow. <laughs> I've forgotten how slow it was. And it doesn't cut great. Or I'm not very good at it. But this machine doesn't work good in combination with the Unimog. I don't know, but it's very patchy. Started snowing on us. I think I've got almost all of it here. I don't like mowing with that sickle. Definitely gonna have to upgrade that at some point. I'd probably be done with this so much faster if I wasn't so anal about getting there every little big bitty piece. <laughs> That's good enough. Well, let's go dump this and get back to making this field. All right, it is two o'clock try to get this done before it gets nighttime I'll show you the progress in a few minutes I believe we got this thing done today it's exciting very happy with this what the corners look like oh yeah that definitely needs to be straightened up a little bit all right I'll get this thing tidied up I think I'll call it a night after that see you guys in the morning February the 4th May the fourth be with you. Silage, 100%. Boom, chakalaka. Ha ha ha, beautiful. Uh, it might look like we're missing a little dollars, and we are missing a few. That is because I bought something on sale. Gotta be broke. Always gotta be broke, it seems. Let's go put it in the silo. Oh, I gotta flatten this out a little bit more. All right, we're gonna dump this. I'll go get the rest of it. Be back with you shortly when I have it all. Rest of the grass is in the bunker. Let's go get the rocks out of the new field. Six liters of rock so far. All right, they didn't fall out. That should be good. Now let's get this field done.
And this is not with fast farming turned on. This is just straight up how quick it is. Using the bucket. Looking good, looking good. All right, let's get some lime on this thing. Zoom out, see what that swath looks like. A little overspray on the left. Like this massive 2013. Boom, just like that, done. All right, we are a day ahead of schedule. Creative field. Those are a little longer. I'm not going to overweight myself. Get quick and easy. Right, I'll be back with you when I have a load. All right. Pretty heavy load. Lots of big logs. Didn't stack them in there very well, but there's quite a few on here. 7,000. I think it took a couple from the back. 16 is 7. That gives us almost 24. Probably was 24 with them together. Nice. That will close out a good day. Got the field in, got the rocks pulled, got the lime down, and got a load in. That was a good day. Hey, good morning, friends. February the 5th. Made about $4,000 last night on the radio tower and the solar power. All right, let's go see if we can get this mower. Catch you at the farm shop. All right, here it is waiting for us. So my idea here is I don't really have enough money to buy the front and the back like I would want, but I'm trying to save up for a tractor as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to lease this one. And this one's pretty lightweight. It's only going to cost me about 880 to lease, so less than a thousand. Even if I keep it for one day, it should be less than a thousand to keep it. And the idea here is I'm going to cut with the front and go ahead and run the forge wagon on the back simultaneously. I think this can handle it. It's got 130 horsepower. So with this little mower on the front and the forge wagon on the back, I believe I can actually cut and pick up the grass simultaneously. Now, on corners and sharp corners, I will definitely cut more and not be able to pick it up because of the way the wagon swings. But I think this might actually save me a few trips. So cut, pick up, deliver to the bunker and repeat and that's what we're going to try to do with the biggest portion of the field to our right which is field 23 and we might mess with the back where we cut before where all the stumps are but i doubt it i doubt i'll go back there might go down the side here of ours uh but i doubt that as well i think i'm going to stick with that big field and get as much out of there as we can we're going to pack this bunker as full as we can possibly get it all right, let's get this thing hooked up, see how it's going to work. Oh. Took the Ford, took the old Unimog a few minutes to get up to speed. All right, well, I'm not going to be stopping and turning around with this thing. I'm just going to make loops with it, get as much as we can. Because every time I stop and start, it's going to be difficult to start again. Throw some loops on this and see what we get. 18, 2 o'clock check-in. Still out here grinding away. This is more like 3 o'clock, not 2 o'clock. <laughs> Just kind of going in circles and going in circles and dropping it off. Got a heck of a stack going in the bunker. Looking awesome over there. Unimog. What a great buy this was. Ooh, big heel, big heel, big heel. Hit it running. Up and over. Way over. There we go. A little bit more. Oh, no. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Trying to get it as full as I can. Got that leveler. It works really good, so be able to get in here no problem with it. I'm going to be late into the evening doing the rest of this, but I'll get it done. 
we get it all in the bunker. Oh, I did not get everything done that I wanted to get done last night. In fact, I kept the machinery so long, I ended up with getting another leasing cost. <laughs> I don't know how this is going to work. We're going to have to wait and see. I'm making a mess out here out front. Ah, oh, come on. I didn't want it to dig in. Ah, oh, this is going to take a while. All right, team. Almost noon. The chafe just hit 100%. Hoot. All right. Let's close this bad boy up. I think we'll get the uh, IMT and the roller. How much we end up with? 178,444 liters. Covered up. All right. Finally, we get to put some seed in the ground. Yep, yep. Here we go. Used up about 50% of each. That's good. First item down on the list today. Let's see what the next one is. Next one is going to put in greenhouse. However, I want to put it in is basically right where this tree is. So it's got to go. But the tree not only has to go, stump has to go. So therefore, it is stump removal day. We're going to see what we can do about removing some stumps. Okay. Just bought the stump remover. I believe that's what I got. Never used one of these before. Not sure. Look it up. All right, long drive back. All right, I'll see you when I get there. We really finally made it back. It is now about 10 minutes after five o'clock. We have lost the day. Oh, we got the field planted, so that was good. Right, clean up these stumps around here. Hey, that worked pretty good. Let's try this bigger one. Here where we can watch it. Yeah, there we go. Oh yeah, chomp chomp chomp. Is that a little one? Come on, skits here. It's a little heavy in the front. Oh, it ran right over it and got rid of it. I love it. Got rid of that one. Let's try to go after this tree. It's the whole thing. I don't need this little sucker. Let's try it. There we go. Get rid of the whole thing. Cut it down. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so here's the plan. Up here on this hill, I'm going to put a very large water container. Now, I'll have to fill it up from over there. Um, but the idea behind it is with it being up here on this hill, it will gravity, gravity feed down to a couple of greenhouses. I was thinking about maybe one over there on the left, maybe one over here on the right. Not exactly for sure where I'm going to set them as of yet. Uh, there's two uh, kind of country style that I want. There is one uh, that I'm going to put behind the house, which actually isn't a greenhouse. It's more like an open garden for myself. And then I want to put a hydroponic greenhouse. All right, team, I am super excited to introduce you to the greenhouses. All right, over here, we have our mushroom greenhouse. Let's get it going. Mushrooms, we've got our water coming in. Mushrooms are cooking. Activate it, yeah, baby. We're gonna store them up. Awesome. Oh, look at them. Look at the mushrooms. Ah, uh, gonna have some shiitakes. Maybe we'll grow some chicken of the seas. All right, over here, believe it or not, I'm actually going to grow some flowers. 
look at those. So the local market is in big demand for flowers. And I thought, why not? <laughs> make some flowers, make some money. So that's what we're going to do. All right. Now, over here in our hydroponics, got to fix this little back area. It got all janky, but look at the water tank. So the water tank feeds all three of the greenhouses. I don't know why they left this pit open when they dug in the lines for me. That's weird. But each one of these. So instead of having to come over here and fill up each one of these tanks every single day, this bad boy right here, 20,000 gallons split between the three of them should keep them well, well hydrated. Hey, all right, team, that was really easy. I just pulled the manual out and it says put liquid fertilizer in the barrel. I tried to use solid fertilizer. <laughs> so I've got some liquid fertilizer, put it in and look, we've got tomatoes, we've got lettuce, we've got strawberries already going. So we got our seed cups. So hydroponics. You essentially don't use soil. Don't know if you know about how hydroponics, but I'll explain it real quickly. So essentially the water trickulates and moves through the pipes. Each one of the pipes are connected. It basically feeds water into the top and then it's gravity fed from there on. You see how everything is kind of stair stepped down and it's gravity fed. So the water comes into the top, rushes across all the way to the other side, drops down to the next level, the water rushes all the way back across the other side, drops to the next level, which is over on that side, and so on and so forth, until it comes all the way back down to the bottom and then gets recirculated. So the water comes up, down, around, and goes through the entire system on both sides. And in that water is carried nutrients. Now, ideally, what I'd like to have is a fish farm, say like having some tilapia. And then that way the tilapia waste, the water that gets circulated for the tilapia, they eat their food, they poop in it. You get very rich um, liquid tea for the plants and you can flush that through. So I'd love to get some tilapia at some point, but I don't know if a fish farm actually sounds like it's doable out here or not. So right now I'm using liquid fertilizer. And I said you put the fertilizer in the blue one. I apologize. It's actually in the green one. The blue one has the water in it. And here we go. We've got our, oh, look, we even got a little tomato hanging off right there. Fantastic. So that's our hydroponic system. We have a very large hydroponic system, very unique for the area. We have a classic greenhouse that has flowers in it and a classic greenhouse that just has mushrooms in it. Now, I will be building a small garden in the back that has all different kinds of crops, but these are going to be our productions, which is what we're going to try to use to make some money. All right. We're down to ten thousand dollars we might have to hit the woods again here pretty soon to make some money but growing season is upon us got more work coming up here pretty quickly so we got to get ready for it let's get to work 